Hi everybody, Dolphin Oracle back again. I am doing a fresh install of Antix 13.2 just to show you a couple changes in the installer. <clears throat> so let's get started. Root password is root by default on the live CD. Now when you get to this page when it asks about Antix sources, what sources, th this will be the last uh, the last uh, release where Wheezy and Stable will be uh, the default. Uh, after this, 13.5 will be going back to testing as a rolling release. Uh, for this install, I'm going to leave it Wheezy, but feel free to select testing. Um, there'll be more updates to do if you select testing. Uh, and But uh, Wheezy for this release is still the stable, so if you're happy with Wheezy, feel free to keep it. Okay, here comes the installer. Nothing new here. A little, little talk about uh, licenses and such. Now we're going to uh, uh, install on custom partitions. I'm installing on real hardware here, so I need to select my correct um, partitions. Mine's on SDA5, a Linux partition swap. I got an existing swap, so I'm going to leave it. I keep my home folder on the root, and I'm going to format ext4. And I'm wiping out my dist my installation, uh, uh, my my old installation, uh, just for the purposes of this video. So now it's formatting. And installing the system over. Now, as you can see, RAM usage isn't bad. It's climbing a little bit, but what you need to realize is I'm recording video while I'm installing. So in the mid, the video is being cached in RAM, so that's going to increase. Now I probably won't run into any problems because uh, I think the install will finish before I run out of RAM for the video. At least I hope so. Don't worry, I got four gigs of swap backing it up, so hopefully it'll swap out the cache to swap. You see it's installing very fast. I'm installing off a USB key. There are a few changes to the Annex system. There's a slightly new kernel with some bug fixes. There's some missing firmware. Uh, there's some firmware included that was missing before. Menus have been cleaned up. As you can see, the update menus now on the on the on the top menu as is the control center. This will be this will be the same for all versions of the menus throughout Antics, either the IceWM, Fluxbox, or JWM. Uh, you can also see terminal apps up here up front, and the tools menus up front for so direct access to the filers, editors, and some system tools. Okay, so I'm going to install Grub to the MBR. Yes, install Grub, please. The control center has some new features as well. Okay, Grub's installed okay. I'm going to leave everything enabled by default right now. All the services. Computer name, that's fine the way it is. Uh, I am in America, New York, and all this looks pretty good, so I'm going to click keep that. Okay, this is part of the new. There's now an auto login option right in the installer. So if you want to use The auto login, you can click it right here, and it'll automatically log all the way back into your desktop when you sw when you uh, come back around. You see, the install is very fast on modern hardware, and again, I haven't topped 500 megs, and I'm still recording video, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, and I am finished. Do I want to reboot now? No, because I'm recording a video. Okay. So it will come. Uh, I'll reboot in a minute and come back to that. I want to show you the control center changes. The Antics control center now has a few new options. Um, 
let's see, where was it? Session, I believe. For those of you that had some trouble with the screen blanking after 10 minutes, no matter what you try to do with power managers, whether you're watching full screen videos, wink, wink, if you're a Netflix watcher like I am, you will find this utility very useful. This set screen blanking utility will allow you to change the amount of time, even down to zero, that the screen blanking uh, takes place might not work in the live setup. I'm not sure about that. It works in the installed. And in the hardware, I believe, there is now a test sound option. I don't know if you can hear that as I'm wearing headphones, but it's running. Uh, sound is coming through my speakers just fine. Handy when you're trying to diagnose a sound problem. Other new features in the Annex install will be um, cleaned up menus. Preferences no longer looks like uh, 500 items in there that you have no idea what each thing is. Now it's nice and concise. Uh, the ICE WM control center, if you use that, now looks like the Antix control center. Similar theming. Um, those are some of the highlights. You can still turn off your rocks panels and space W space FM. I don't believe there's any new applications, and some have actually been removed to make it fit on the CD because the new kernel is a little larger. There's some other things. Oh, there is one new application: Photo Print. Photo Print's now included by default. So if you like to print photos, uh, you've got that application uh, by default. Also, Connect Shares, the network. Um, share mounting utility has been updated to a new version that will handle uh, sp uh, spaces in the share names very handy also cleaned up some issues uh, with uh, mounting unsecured Samba shares uh, and having permissions enforced properly okay so world worthwhile upgrade particularly considering you still have the office suite uh, LibreOffice Suite, you still have PDF Viewer, still have Synaptic, still have Gpart, still have all the things that are useful. Well, everything except record my desktop because that's what I'm using to record this video. Uh, I still have all the things that make Annex great, and I'll be honest, I think it runs a little bit snappier than 13 and 13.1. Oh, I've also forgot Bleach Bit in case you uh, want to wipe out a hard drive. Uh, this will do the job for you. Okay, I will go ahead and pause the video now. I'll be back in the booted up. I'll, I'll be back in the default install and we'll see if that set screen blanking utility works properly. Okay, we're back and uh, did a little quick research. It's only been about 10 minutes since I finished the video and I forgot there is one little bug that cropped up uh, in the ISO and it has to do with the uh, sudo configuration which a lot of the apps in the control center use including the set screen blanking utility for instance if you will see let's see here where are we session set screen blanking nothing happens right okay once you have your network connection up and going the first thing you want to do is whoops is open up a terminal and go to the root user account super user and root password and you want to do an app get update and this will update all this uh, all the repo information we've done this uh, in past videos um, there is already an update uh, to fix the little issue app get Dist upgrade. And you're actually going to get two things at the moment. You're going to get an upgrade to Annex Libs, which is going to fix the sudoers problem, and you're also going to get an update to a new ver newer version of Space FM. Say so yes. And it's going to download the packages and install. Now the new version of Space FM uh, has some interesting uh, extras. Uh, the biggest one is that you'll be able to, if you use the Space FM desktop, 
you'll be able to move icons around and place them where you want on the desktop. That's a big change. There's some other changes. But that's a big one. I suggest checking out uh, the help files for that. Okay, now we can exit. We should be up and running. So now screen blanking should work. And there it is. So you can hit this button to turn the blanking off entirely so that it doesn't blank at all. Or you can set a new time. I'm going to leave it 10 for now because uh, I don't want to mess with rest around with anything while I'm recording. The new version of Space FM, uh, and I'm using the Rocks desktop right now, so i got to go to Files and Tools. Um, there's new changes. The, the For the most part, the file browsing itself is going to be the same. There are some new uh, features, like I said, for the Space FM desktop. Maybe we'll cover those in, a new, in another video, but for now, uh, just know that that's the the big the the uh, one of the big changes to space. Okay, so that's a fresh install of Annex uh, thirteen point two, mostly a bug fix release. Uh, you can upgrade from your previous one. I've got a video on that. Check that out if you don't want to go through the whole reinstall process. It is not necessary um, to do so. You can do it with through a disk upgrade. Tips, tricks, and how tos. Go to antics.mepis.org. Drop us a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.